Welcome back once again to the wagon shop here in Joliet, Montana. I'm Dave. Last week we began the disassembly process on this old buggy, this two seat buggy that we're going to restore. Remember we already had the running gear done. That was on a number of videos ago, oh back a year or two maybe. But first of all I'm going to run all this iron through the sandblaster and kind of get it cleaned up and kind of get that maybe put away a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and begin the process of rebuilding uh, new wood parts for this box. Not much of this old box is salvageable, so we're going to replace most of it and use the old box for measurements. Now even though I'm not showing too much of this on videos, I'm still doing some wheel work here. I have several sets here I'm trying to get caught up on. And so some of that is getting mixed in in the midst of this buggy restoration project. But this week is going to be primarily focused on just cutting out the parts. I'm going to cut these out a little oversize, but just kind of get the rough parts cut out so I begin the jointery process probably next week. Most of the framework on these buggies are either oak or ash. I'm going to use a combination of both in here, and the sideboards are usually poplar. So I'm going to go ahead and get these measured and milled out so we can begin this process.
Well, I do have some air dried oak here that's about four years old. But when I put the moisture meter on it, it's still showing about 15%. So I'm not going to use it in this project. I have some other oak and ash here that is far drier ready to use.
Now the sideboards on most of these buggies, wagons, and coaches are poplar, yellow poplar. And I'm going to use yellow poplar here, but the, the lumber that I have on hand is too wide, so the waste would be too great. So I'm going to run to town and find some material that's a little closer to what I need. Well, now that I have most of this wood cut out, next week I'm going to get into the joinery process. But it so happens that I have a second customer on my waiting list that also wants the same style box. I have a running gear. It's a platform elliptic spring combination that's typical for a Democrat buggy out back in the weeds that's waiting to come into the shop. So knowing I had this second project in the wings while I was doing the first uh, set of milling for the first box, I went ahead and I cut out enough material for two. So I'll have the second box ready to go when that project comes into the shop.
You know, I get asked lots over the years whether I have blueprints, plans. I've even been asked if I could put together a buggy in a kit. Well, here you go. This week's video is demonstrating what a kit would look like for this Democrat wagon body. And no batteries included, some assembly required. We'll get into the joint work and start to put this together next week. Thanks for following along. Thanks for watching.